Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a look at a new Pokemon TCG set that has gone and been revealed. Now, full disclosure, as we get going, yes, it is a set which is releasing in mainland China. So that is simplified Chinese as opposed to Hong Kong, Taiwan, traditional Chinese. But stay with me here, ladies and gentlemen, because once again, they've gone and done this thing they do where they basically make a really weird set that makes almost no sense given our sets. And that makes me very, very happy indeed. So what we've got is coming out on June the 18th, Brave Stars. And it is, I believe, the set which is introducing V-Stars. Seems to be what they're saying here, and I can't remember. Yes, it is a set that's introducing V-Stars. So you've got stuff like Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, for instance. Bearing in mind Dialga just won Indianapolis Regionals not that long ago. Arceus is still great, and Palkia is still hanging around here and there. And it's going to be bringing in a lot of good stuff from Brilliant Stars. It's not entirely Brilliant Stars, we'll get there in a minute. But it is bringing in stuff from Brilliant Stars, like, for instance, Manaphy or Bibarel, which continues to be an amazing card. All of this stuff is coming and is kind of awesome. But then it gets a little bit weird, because if we have a look at the booster packs, we've got Hisuian Typhlosion and Lucario. Now, this is where things start getting very, very interesting. Because, of course, for us... Lucario wasn't even in a set. Lucario V-Star for us, I showed you the other day, the V-Star Premium Collection is actually becoming quite available. It's becoming quite easy to pick up. It's one that I recommended going to grab if you get a chance. Well, in China, it's actually just its own set. Well, one of two sets. Which is weird, right? And this is not the first time China's gone and done something like this. Taking something that we got as a promo and then making it the focal point of a set. Does that mean we could be getting exclusive versions of this card? Don't know. It's happened before. We'll have to wait and see. But that does make me, I think, curious is probably the way to put it. We've then got Hasui and Typhlosion. Which wasn't even in Brilliant Stars. That was in Astral Radiance. So they've basically got their equivalent of Brilliant Stars. But they're not using Brilliant Stars. They're using a Pokemon from Astral Radiance. And they're using a Pokemon that was a promo. And those are the main Pokemon. The kind of highlight Pokemon, so to speak. But also look at the booster pack. I mean, obviously, Lucario hasn't had a booster pack. You know that. It was a promo. But if we take a look at our Astral Radiance pack featuring Hasui and Typhlosion, and then we look at China's, not even close. Not even remotely close. And I love this. It means we've got new booster packs here with new artwork. And it's the kind of thing I've been telling you since China started really catching up in the Pokemon TCG. It would be super duper easy right now for China to turn around and go, you know what? We've got everything we need. This has all been released in Japan. It's all been released in the West. We have got a huge amount of stuff that we can take and we can use this. We don't need to do anything new. And instead, they've gone, nah, mate, let's do this. Let's go for it. And I, I just think this is wonderful. I love that they're doing this, and I could not be any more in favour of it. Also, as a side note, look at the top of the booster packs. It is a double set, very much like in Japan. So you get the Hisui and Typhlosion pack if you want Fire, Lightning, Psychic, or Darkness Pokemon. And then you go and get the Lucario pack if you want Grass, Water, Fighting, or Metal. That is very, very important. But I also just want to point out, again, talking about weird things, right? They've got Soul Rock and Lunatone coming in this set. And they are the Soul Rock and Lunatone from Pokemon Go. But they are the alternate artwork of the Pokemon Go cards that came around in Crown Zenith. Which is weird, because again, this is basically Brilliant Stars. That's the equivalent set we've got here. Brilliant Stars came out for us in February 2002... 
But then they've also got cards from Crown Zenith, which came around significantly later in January 2023. Like a year later. I cannot be the only one that thinks this is weird. I love what China's doing with their sets, partly because it's so different to what we're used to seeing. And that just makes me kind of happy. I don't understand why this keeps happening. But then by the same token, I love that it is happening. And somebody over in China is basically making a point of designing these sets, sticking roughly to the release cadence of Japan, the West, etc. But being willing to mix things up and it's giving them weird meta games that we never had. And that makes me very, very happy indeed. I love that they're doing this stuff. But coming along with this set, we've also got some other stuff, which is coming along some other ancillary products that are releasing at the same time, like the Stars of Brave Stars V starting deck. Gotta love that Google Translate. And basically, it is a starter deck which is coming that does feature a Pokemon V, and some decks will also feature a V-Star. So if we have a look at the front here, well, one of the Pokemon featured is Weird Ear V. We know that deck's not having a Weird Ear V-Star because there's no such thing as Weird Ear V-Star. That was a Pokemon that had a V but didn't have a V-Star. But then you got stuff like Darkrai. Well, Darkrai had a V and a V-Star, and actually this makes perfect sense. In Astral Radiance, and clearly this starter deck is also picking up some stuff from Astral Radiance, we had Darkrai, V, and V-Star. This makes perfect sense. But then it starts getting a little bit weird. One of the ones featured on the front is Deoxys. Well, what's going on with Deoxys? Because, of course, we had the Battle Box, which featured Deoxys, V-Star, and V-Max, that we got after the Deoxys V Battle Deck that only featured the V. And then in Japan, there was the V-Star and V-Max deck that featured both the V-Star and the V-Max. So what do you get in the Chinese deck if you get the Deoxys one? Now, it specifically mentions V-Star in the blurb on the Chinese website, but does not mention V-Max. And for what it's worth, it shows Speedform Deoxys. And of course, Speedform Deoxys is the one that got the V-Star. Defense Form got the V Max, and that's not the one that shows off. Am I overthinking this? Maybe, but I just don't have enough information, and that's kind of amazing. Wish I could give you more information here. I, I can't, and I kind of love that in a way. This is all over the place with promos and taking from a couple of hour sets, and it's just... Awesome. You know, something else I told you about the other day are the Leafeon and Glaceon V-Star Premium Collections. Well, oh look. They're apparently featured in this deck as well. And again, although we did get alternate arts in Crown Zenith again, they were cards that came around in these promo boxes. So China's, they're trying to catch up. And it seems like they're saying, well look, we, we can't just do a bunch of promo boxes like they had over in the West and over in Japan. That's not going to catch us up fast enough. We need to start playing around with this a little bit more. And they've basically taken a bunch of promo boxes and some cards from sets and are chucking it into the starter deck product, which I just think is awesome. And you know what? These starter deck boxes, they're not even hugely expensive. They are coming in at 31 as always, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that perfectly, but you know what? It's close enough. I'm going to allow it. And 31 comes in as four bucks. Four dollars, 14 cents if you want to be a pedant. I don't. I'm Not today, usually, but not today. I'm rounding it down to four dollars. I love what China is doing with their sets. I love how they're coming in with booster packs with new artwork and sometimes new cards. Watch this space. I love that they're bringing in the starter decks with Vs, and their format is moving so rapidly. Being a player in China must be very stressful and very fun. But there is one more bigger, more exciting thing coming along, and that is the Young May Stars card deck building gift box, 
which comes in at 88 one, which is obviously a lot more expensive than the other stuff we've been looking at here. You're talking basically $12, but you get one random Pokemon V, 19 trainer cards, one special energy, 48 basic energy, one random 25 card pack. Remember, packs in China can be five cards or 25 cards. This is the 25 card. And then a manual, a storage box, and paper damage counters. And it's a little bit blurry. But if you have a look at the image there, you can see there are some available, like Snivy's on there. Zera Aura's on there. Charizard is on there. There's also a Suyan Samurai and Dialga. This is kind of awesome, and I'm a big fan. I love that they're doing stuff like this. Honestly, playing Pokemon in China right now is very expensive. There's a lot of products coming out thick and fast, and the meta is moving quickly. But this stuff is awesome. So yeah, that's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me what you would like to see picking up in China. Tell me what you would do if we had this kind of release schedule. Would you keep up with it? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Danger Morales, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.